I'll be walking you through on how to plot different types of charts in Microsoft Word in this tutorial. Okay, whether you want to plot column chart, bar chart, pie chart, stock chart, line chart, and other types of charts, this guide puts you through on how you can easily complete that task. Let's get right into it. Okay. The first thing is to open the Microsoft Word application. So click on Start and then search for it. But here it appears at the Start menu. So I'll click on it for it to open. As the app opens, select Blank Document. Okay, let's assume that I have filled this document with text to some extent. Okay. And at this spot, I want to add my chart. Okay, this is a sample. So there may be some text that you need to add before you add your chart. Okay, maybe I'm typing and I say this is so you know the text that comes before the chart. Okay, uh -huh. so it's there for you. Okay, so I want to represent column charts in this Word document first. I will be representing how much I earn from different sources in one month okay so you can follow along okay so once you click on the spot where you want the column chart to be inserted click on insert tab then from the insert tab under the illustrations group click on chart this opens this page listing all the chart types you can have in your microsoft world but our interest here is column chart so click on column chart and click on ok so this chart is inserted automatically with sample data okay so it's left for you to then change it the way you want it to be so i will bring my cursor here and place it here over it here until my arrow changes to this sign then i'll drag down so that i'll have space on what i want to create so this information here i don't want them so i will delete them they're just samples so as you're making changes, everything will be reflecting on this graph automatically. Okay, so here I want to have here as my source, which is the first heading. Then I'll have here as my earnings. Okay, this second column. So this earnings is going to be in USD. So I'll have the, the dollar symbol here. Please don't enter dollar symbol in the data here. Just have it at the headings, okay? Okay, so these informations here in column, this column, they are not needed again. So I'll delete them. Then I'll delete this one too. So I will delete this title, this heading here. Okay. Okay, now we have this. I can click on this, right click, and del delete this column. Good. I'll click on this, right click. And delete it as well because I don't need them okay so I have only this and this but if you look at this you can see that this heading needs to be expanded so as I click on the on the column then I'll take my cursor here to see my cursor change to this sign you can see the sign it changed to then I'll drag so that I have more space likewise this I'll click on this column a take my cursor here to the line area and then expand so that I have enough space Okay, the first source is Amazon KDP. Okay, you can see this is not seen very well. So I'll click on the colon again and then expand this. Good. Okay, so now let me now start typing my ending. So this ending is going to be the ending for the month of January 2024. So First, Amazon KDP $1,500. Then I will click on this data here and delete it because I don't need it. All right. So this information is properly represented here. So any change you're going to make, you will see it here. Okay. So let me now close this spreadsheet that should up. Okay. Good. This is my data. Okay. So from here, this information is properly represented and the design tab is automatically open. So you can redesign this by giving it this color or by giving it this color or any color of your choice. Are we getting that? So you can just make your choice. And with this, you have inserted 
column chart in your Microsoft Word document. One thing you should know about column chart is that it's used to compare data. As you can see here now, Amazon KDP has the highest 1,500 for the month of January, then followed by YouTube $500 and followed by digital product sales $300. So it can be used to compare different information, different things. Are you getting this? So that's the application of the column chart. Then we can we need to represent bar chart. Bar chart is like column chart, just that the bars are arranged horizontally, okay, instead of vertical, as in column chart. Okay, for you to insert bar charts, click on the spot where you want it to be inserted. Here it is inserted here. I want to insert it here. Then after that, as usual, click on the start tab, then select chart. Then our interest here is what? On bar chart. Look at bar on the list here. So I'll click on it. Then we are giving some samples. Do you want it this way, clustered bar chart, or do you want it this way, stack bar chart? So they have different types, depending on the type of bar chart you want to create. 100 stacked bar. This one is 3D clustered bar chart. And you have this one as 3D stacked bar chart. You have this one as 3D 100% stacked chart. So you know what you want to create. So we want to keep it simple. So I'll click here and click OK. As you draw the chart loads with a sample data. Okay. So I'm going to edit this information here. So let me expand this so that you see what we have here. So I'll edit it just like I said did in the column chart. Okay, you can see here I represented the same thing I did in column chart in this section. So these are the top earnings. Okay, Amazon KDP $1,500, YouTube $500. Then these two product sales $300. So everything as I'm typing the information here is being changed here. So, but now let's have a clearer look of that. So I'll close this. Now you can see the information is represented the same way, but in vertical format okay if you like you can click here and give this a different title so let's say monthly earnings okay so as this cell is selected as this chart is selected you can apply a different design here so it's left for you so there are so many good designs you can apply so once you take your cursor on each of them you will see a preview of how it will look like okay so it's that simple line charts can be used to measure progression or compare events okay and here i want to compare my earnings on amazon kdp for three different years so from here you can see how the earnings fluctuate when it goes up when it went down and when it was up again so let's just represent that in the part in the line chart okay so as you draw click on the spot where you want the chart to be inserted then click on insert select chart then our interest here is online chart so click online you can see the sample the preview of what you are creating you have this one you have this one so all of them are different styles of charts in the line chart but i want us to go with the first one which is selected by default then click on ok good this makes the sample charts placed here with the sample data so as we used to do it, I'm going to edit the information here. So edit it from your own and the way you want it presented and everything will reflect here immediately. So let me do that at the back end. Okay, you can see here I represented my data well. I say year 2021, I earned $12,800. 2022, $13,200. And 2023, $18,150. So once you are typing anything here, it's being represented here. So now that we are done, let's just close this. And then we have our data properly represented here. So if you take your cursor here, you can see here it gives a result of $1,000, $12,800 in the year 2021. This place is represented well, $13,200 and this one. If you want to change the style, click on the chart design and then select any one of your choice okay so this one comes in with the data or you can go with this one anyone is cool all right let's get to the next chart type which is pie chart 
You can use pie chart to represent proportion of things in a circular way, okay, in a circle. In pie charts here, I want to represent my major expenses in a month in the chart, okay, which cost across food, insurance, mobile data subscription money, and electricity bill. So let's do that right away. As usual, click on the start tab, select chart from the options, then select pie chart, okay? Then you can see different styles of pie charts you can create. You can see this one is pie of pie, this one is 3D pie, this one is bar of pie, and this one is do not. So anyone you want to apply is okay, but let's go with the default sample given to us. So click on it and click on OK. Once the chart is placed here with sample data, it's now our duty to edit the information. So I will edit that and then we continue from there. Okay, with what we have here, you can see expenses as the heading and amount spent in US, the United States dollars as the next heading. So on that particular month, I spent $1,000 on food, insurance, I spent $500. And mobile data i spent hundred dollars and electricity bill i spent four hundred dollars okay so once you type the data everything you type here is presented here automatically so let's now close this okay we can see the full view of what we created this key which like blue is for food and when you take your cost idea it shows you that food takes 50 percent of my monthly expenses on that particular month then insurance is this followed by 25 percent then this is mobile data which is five percent I, I i don't spend much on mobile data okay then followed by electricity which is 20 percent of my monthly expenses on that particular month you can decide to apply more design to this for one days for one days that will show you the amount spent with the percentage in the pie chart okay so this is how you can create pie charts in your microsoft word there are different types of stock charts you can create in your microsoft word document but we are going with one type okay so for you to create that click on the start tab select charts then our interest is on stock charts so click on stock you can see high low close you can see this one open high low close you can see this other type volume high low close you can see this one volume open high close okay but the one i want us to create here is the second one which is open high low close so once you click on the chart type of stock chart you want to create click on ok then this places a sample data with the information in the excel that will pop up okay just as you can see here so what you're going to do here is that i'm going to edit this information with an accurate data and after that everything gets automatically represented here okay so first is open which is the the cost or the price at which the market is opening on that particular day okay you can see different days here high is the highest at which the stock trades on that particular day the highest price the low is the lowest price at which the stock trades on that day and close is the price at which the stock closed on that particular day so that's the type of chart we are going to create here okay the type of stock chart so i'll fill my data at the back end and after that we continue as usual i'm done typing my data these are apple stock prices on these different dates okay so i'll close it then you can see data here and from here you can see from 03 to 07 i represented then this place is vacant okay 08 and 09 of june 2024 the reason why there are no information for those dates is because those dates are saturday and sundays so there is no stock trading on weekends as well as public holidays so that's why you don't have anything here but this other here from here and from here sections they have 
the information okay so if you want to twist it a little just click on it for it to be selected then chastise gets activated you can apply any style of your choice okay so that is how you can create stock charts in microsoft word documents map charts is used to represent different countries with values based on what you're trying to compare so here i want to represent the contribution of three different countries in the area of technology and the countries i want to have in this map are united states china and india click on the start tab and from the options here click on charts then select map as one of the options and then click on ok now the map is inserted in the document with simple sample data just as you can see here so United States, Mexico, Brazil, and other countries are chosen by default, but I have to edit this. Okay, you can see the three countries I represent here. This kind of chart is used in geography as well as in business to compare the impacts or the value of different countries, okay? So here, the three countries I have here are United States, India, and China. So U.S. contributes so much in the area of technology at the value of 60% followed by India 15 and China does it 25 because we know China is good in the area of tech they are improving they are advancing so once you are done having your values and the countries close the chart close the Excel spreadsheet okay so this is the representation so when you take your cursor here you can see the country here United States with points value of 60 so when we get here let's see what we have here we have China here and we have India here. So this is how you can have map chart in Microsoft Word. I hope you find this guide helpful. Please, if it does help, consider subscribing to my channel by hitting the subscribe button. Here we discuss more on technology, self-publishing, and YouTube education. All are under the umbrella of technology. So subscribe to learn as much as you can. Hit that like button for YouTube to recommend this video to more people, please don't leave without hitting the like button please just just hit it. it will not take anything from you okay and leave a comment let me know how you feel about this guide does it already help you or do you need something extra let me just have it in the comment section okay so that i know what to do next if there's any other video you want to create in a related area just drop that in the comment section watch this video so learn how to plot different chart types in Microsoft Excel. Thank you, I'll see you some other time.